You're listening to 2025 The Final Drive, What You Need to Win with David Hayes. In today's program, I want to talk about will Social Security survive? And the answer is yes, but how? The answer is taxes. So let's talk about Social Security. It is a payroll tax. So people working pay for those that are retired. Currently, you pay 7.65% of your income to pay for Medicare and Social Security. Now, your employer pays the other half. So around 15% total, a little bit more than that. You're capped at $160,000 of income. That's when your payroll tax on Social Security stops. I got to thinking about this. Even at these historically low tax rates, if you're in the top bracket of 37%, and you're paying 7.65 towards Medicare and Social Security, and then another 5% for state tax here in Indiana. That's about where you're at with state and local. That means 50% of what you're making is being sent away in taxes. Then on top of that, you might be saving 15% in your 401k. So now we're at 65% of your money's gone. 15 you're keeping, the rest has gone to the government. Can you imagine if you could save 50% of your income, how much money you would have. And we're in the most historically low tax environment we've ever been. I love when my son received his first paycheck. He was making $15 an hour. He worked a 40 hour week. So in his mind, he was going to collect about 600 bucks. He gets his paycheck. It was around 440, $450. He said, dad, I think I've been ripped off. I'm like, yeah, you probably have been ripped off, but let me explain you explain to you what the ripoff is. So we got his pay stub out, and I said, okay, here's your total hours you worked, so here's your 600 It was right at the top, $600. Now let's start subtracting things. First, Medicare. Next, Social Security, FICA. I explained to him what that was. I said, now you can call Grandma and Grandpa and get a thank you from them for that. Now let's take the federal tax. At that point, they were taxing him, you know, about 12% is what I figured. And then he had his state tax. So his check was $440, $450, and he learned a quick lesson. So when he thought he was being robbed, I laughed and said, well, it depends on how you look at it, but technically you're just paying some tax. Now let's talk a little about the history of Social Security. And I've done this before on the podcast and the radio show, but I love when I pull out the pamphlet that shared with society and introduced Social Security to the United States of America, beginning November 24th, 1936. But I want to get to the part, and I've said this before, so it may be redundant to you, on how you will pay for Social Security on the tax side of things. It says, during the next three years, beginning January 1st, 1937, you will pay one cent for every dollar you earn. At the same time, your employer will pay one cent for every dollar you earn, up to $3,000 a year. I love the last line in this paragraph. It says, that's the most you'll ever pay. (laughs) Oh, goodness gracious. When you have 90% of our budget paying for Social Security, Medicare, Medicaid, and interest on the debt, Something's going to have to give. But going back to thinking about Social Security and understanding the urgency behind our mathematical mission here in dealing with this before Social Security goes completely broke, knowing that we've only dealt with Social Security a few times since its inception in 1935-36. Thank you for listening to this podcast. The clock is ticking. Each decision that is made today will put more money into your pocket or leave you worried about your financial future. The time to prepare is now. The time to eliminate risk was yesterday. Let's partner to help those around us to make decisions that empower their financial future. If you would like to book David for a speaking event, please contact CFC at cfci.us. You can purchase his book, 2025 The Final Drive, by going to www.cfci.us and clicking on 2025 The Final Drive.